Hello everybody, welcome back to Tom Reads Things. My name is Tom. I hope you're all very well. Um, so today what I thought I would do is talk to you about some of the recommendations that have been coming out recently from some of my favourite booktubers on their channels. Um, I don't know about anyone else, but I really get a lot of my um, kind of uh, book recommendations from booktube really um, and specifically kind of from three booktubers in particular which I'll talk more about in a bit. Um, so I, they've been talking about some great books recently and I always think oh god I want to read that, I want to read that, I want to read that and I add it to my Goodreads um, you know uh, want to read list but I thought actually let's just get them bought shall we? Let's get them bought so I've got them in my box um, ready to be read. So what I thought I would do is I'd go through a couple of books from my favourite booktubers um, recommendations and uh, talk you through some of them now. So the first one that's come in my package this morning, so excited, is this little number. Now we're all going to know who this is from, who's been recommending this before I, um, before I even discuss it. So here it is. Uh, so this is From the Wreck by Jane Rawson um, and for those of you who um, have been living under a rock for the last couple of months, uh, Simon over at Savage Reads um, has been talking about this book a lot. He really, really enjoyed it and as you can see, look, he's got a little quote on the front. How cool is that? Um, so my understanding is that uh, From the Wreck is about, uh, it's set in 1859 I think and is about a gentleman who is aboard a ship uh, uh, and he's involved in a shipwreck and um, he is the only survivor or so he thinks. He uh, he thinks there is a an additional survivor who kind of haunts him and wants things from him uh, throughout his life and he, he kind of goes on with his life, he gets married, he has children but there's always this presence um, with him of this other survivor um, who also survived the shipwreck and it's kind of about his, the journey through his life. So I'm really excited to read this. Um, yeah, as I said, Simon over at Savage Reads has uh, been talking about this a lot. He's been a really great um, kind of advocate for this book and for Jane Rawson as an author. Um, and I, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of really excited to, to get stuck into this. So yeah, Simon, if I don't like this, I will be wanting the equivalent in cash. Thank you. Otherwise it just gets nasty. And I'm really hoping you got that reference. So yes, that's From the Wreck by Jane Rawson. The next book that I wanted to talk about is The Heavens by Sandra Newman. So um, one of my other favourite booktubers, Lauren, over at Lauren and the Books. I'm obsessed with her channel. I watch it all the time, as I do all of these booktubers that I'm going to talk about. But she's so, so, so funny and she's got such a great outlook on life. And she doesn't just talk about books, she talks about lots of other stuff. Um, she talks about kind of each month she does videos on what she's enjoying that month. Um, so yeah, I'd really, really recommend uh, her channel. I'll link her video down below where she was talking about this book. Um, but what really drew me to this is uh, she was talking about it and it's only actually really short, so I should be able to get through it pretty quickly. Um, but it combines two of my favourite things. So uh, it's uh, apparently set in um, New York in the uh, in the year 2000, I think. Um, and it follows a couple and they're really happy. Uh, they're living in New York um, and it's, I believe it's the, um, the I believe it's New Year. And, uh, and they, she goes to sleep and she wakes up uh, not in her own life anymore. She wakes up in uh, 15th century or 14th, 14th or 15th century London. Um, uh, as a mistress of a nobleman and she is trying to keep the plague um, from her door which is ravaging England at the time. This combines two of my favourite things, New York, where I've just got back from, and the plague. Everyone knows I love to read about the plague. Mm, plague, plague, plague. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to get into this. I, I cannot imagine two different settings than, uh, you know, New York in, in the early 2000s and England during the time of the Great Plague. It's going to be really interesting. So yeah, do pick this up if you haven't and I'll let you know what I think about it when I've read it. And yeah, as I say, do go over and check out Lauren's um, uh, booktube video. She is hilarious. 
So the next couple of books that I wanted to talk about were both recommended by Katie over at Books and Things. Um, she is also one of my favourite booktubers, as I'm sure you all know. Um, and they are both historical fiction. And the first one that I wanted to talk about is The Wonder by Emma Donoghue. So she uh, was talking about this and she did a, an, an entire, um, Katie did an entire video uh, dedicated to this book because she loved it so much. So I'm really excited to get into this. Uh, this is the paperback copy, um, which looks slightly different, but she had the hardback copy, which is, they're both gorgeous covers. And as we know, I'm covered up. Um, so this follows the story of a young girl in an Irish village um, who is said not to have eaten anything for many, many, many months, but is thriving uh, without um, any food. Um, and it follows the story of a, of a young woman who goes to uh, to kind of monitor her and to, to kind of see what's going on with her. Uh, so yeah, I think there's a bit of potential maybe magical realism involved in this, as well as historical fiction. Two of my favourite things, as you all know, I love The Binding and The Mermaid and Mrs Hancock, which are both kind of historical fiction with a mix of kind of magical realism in there as well. So yeah, really, really, really looking forward to getting into this. And the next book that Katie recommended over at Books and Things was um, Once Upon a River by Diane Setterfield. So this is massive, this book. It's literally, you could bash someone over the head with this. Not that I would, because I want to read it first. Um, so uh, I don't know a huge amount about this book other than what Katie has uh, spoken about on her channel. I'm struggling to get it all in the picture. Goodness me. Um, other than what Katie's uh, spoken about on her channel, but... Uh, it sounds absolutely brilliant. Um, but yeah, I don't really know a huge amount about this. So, should we read the blurb? Shall we? Come on then, gather round. So, make sure you can see it while I read it. Uh, on a dark midwinter's night, the Swan, an ancient inn on the banks of the Thames, the regulars are entertaining themselves by telling stories when the door bursts open on an injured stranger. In his arms is the drowned corpse of a child. Hours later, the dead girl stirs, takes a breath and returns to life. Is it a miracle? Is it magic? Or can it be explained by science? And who exactly is this little girl? As news spreads of the child who drowned and lived again, three families come to claim her and the stories of the three lost girls and a missing pig come to light. In the, in the background is the river itself, powerful, unknowable, life-giving and life-taking. There is talk of a ferryman who appears to those who get into trouble on the river, but at the Swan Inn is anything ever just a story. This sounds so good. I cannot wait to get into this and I really hope I enjoy it because then I'm going to binge buy all of Diane Setterfield's other books. Um, yeah, I'm really, really excited to get into this. It just sounds, I, just, I don't know, there's something about historical fiction with a touch of magical realism that I've just just completely up my street and just really um, captures my attention uh, every time. So yeah, really, really, really looking forward to getting into this. And the last book that I wanted to talk about wasn't actually recommended by a YouTuber um, or a booktuber, but I saw a uh, poster for it at the train station in Ely, where I get the train every day on my way to work in Cambridge. Um, and that is, uh, I believe I'm pronouncing this right, um, Wakenhurst, 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 um, by Michelle Paver. So, uh, the reason that I decided to pick this up is because it's historical fiction, I believe, set in the Fens, where I live. Um, I live just outside of Ely, um, one of the, um, kind of more prominent Fenland cities slash towns, um, and yeah, I'm always really interested to read things kind of based in the area that I work. Uh, that I live. So yeah, this sounds really interesting. So um, let's read the blurb again together, shall we? Um, so something has been let loose. In Edwardian Suffolk, a manor house stands alone in a lost corner of the fens, a glinting wilderness of water whose whispering reeds guard ancient secrets. Maud is a lonely child growing up without a mother, ruled by her repressive father. When he finds a painted medieval devil in a graveyard, unhallowed forces are awakened. Maud's battle has begun. She must survive a world haunted by witchcraft, the age-old legends of her beloved Fen, and the even more nightmarish demons in her father's past. Spanning five centuries, Wakenhurst is a darkly gothic thriller about murderous obsession and one girl's longing to fly free. 
Wow, I cannot wait to read that. I can't wait to read all of these. God, I wish I didn't have, well, I wish I could read faster. I'm just rubbish. Um, yeah, so really, really looking forward to reading this. Uh, yes, but I think I've got quite a bit to get through before I do eventually get to this. So thank you very much for sticking around until the bitter end. Um, I, those were the uh, books that have been recently recommended, um, not necessarily to me, but just to the world through my three favourite booktubers, um, Simon over at Savage Reads, Lauren at Lauren and the Books, and Katie at Books and Things. Uh, my next video will be up in a couple of days and it will be uh, the second part of my What's in My TBR box, which by the looks of things is overflowing by now. So yes. Hope to see you then. Thanks. Bye.